Welcome Zero Point Energy researchers and ed3dbiz.com viewers. It's currently day six of the device right here I've put together and after six days she's still running pretty darn good. Um, I've opened it up here a little bit to take a look on the inside. And if you take a close look in here you'll see that it's still very dry. There's no major corrosion occurring. There's no green corrosion from the copper. Um, there's no corrosion from the magnesium, nothing at all. This is all ionic flow transfer creating the energy. But I have noticed because it's been on continuously for six days straight, um, it's normal to have a little bit of a burn right here, as you can see. This blackness right here, you guys can see this, but it's dark right here. Um, that's basically because it's been running for so long, it's created a bit of a dark effect right here. You see this is all dark probably a bit of carbon build up. So future versions I'll have about um, two or three leads coming from the, uh, the copper uh, sheet right here because it gets dark after a while from that area. But uh, we'll go ahead and do a voltage test on it under load. I'm going to go ahead and put it under the 20 volt scale. And remember this has been running for um, six continuous days non-stop. I gotta get the polarity of the right size. It doesn't really matter, but it just looks better. All right. Now, now she's at 1.76. And this is after um, six continuous days, non-stop running the LEDs. About 1.75, 1.76. A couple days ago, it came in at 1.79, 1.80. It does fluctuate every now and then. That seems to be normal part of the process. But um, that's pretty good. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. And. Um, Quite simply, to keep out the moisture, I've been putting it in the jar right here. Um, basically, this just sits in here like this, and I put it in here, and then it basically just keeps the moisture out. So uh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, it's still very dry in here. It's perfect. No moisture. This is completely dry cell. There's no water added, nothing, no corrosion. That's really, really good. It's a bit of a dark spot here from the um, continuous current, but that can be uh, fixed, rectified with uh, additional leads. So very, very impressed. That's uh, very good. Once again, that's the zero-point energy Casimir effect that's occurring, and it's being done by an alkaline ionic transfer instead of sulfur. Many people are using um, um, pyrite and other sulfurs, but uh, you want to get an alkaline uh, ionic flow. That's pretty much what's happened here. Got some new chemicals in. Um, this here is um, glotoherdioride. Um, it's a cross-linker agent that's used with sodium alginate, and that's going to be tested in the future versions. Uh, quite simply, we want to increase the uh, voltage even more with a smaller size. So I'm um, looking forward to our testing that. Um, copper oxide. Copper oxide, as most of you know, is a um, material that's used in semiconductors and it's had a very good um, zero-point energy research so far and other people's research. Another one that's very um, uh, very prominent in zero-point energy research is barium. Um, I've got barium sulfate right here. Uh, we're going to test some of that out later on. And then titanium dioxide. Basically it's um, a very, very um, highly refractive material and um, I'm going to be doing some uh, research on that later on and seeing if we can uh, boost the signal once again with a smaller size. And then maybe in the future I'll get down to uh, nano size, which means we can increase the current any more, a lot more, ever more, by reducing the size. So this will continue to run forever. Um, basically, the first things that will start to burn out will be the LEDs. Probably after a month the LEDs will go out. And then this black carbon right here from continuous current may end up getting even darker. But that can be uh, engineered um, later on uh, to solve those problems uh, by taking some more engineering um, um, additions to take care of that. 
Once again, um, easy3dbiz.com, uh, thanking you for watching and uh, wishing you all continued luck in your zero point energy research. And by the way, the plans for this uh, device are up on my website on easy3dbiz.com. It's under the uh, zero point energy page. And by the way, I'm using calcium, um, it's actually calcium sulfate uh, in here instead of uh, the calcium chloride. I know uh, the earlier plan said I was using calcium chloride, but I'm using calcium gypsum sulfate, or, or gypsum, which is uh, a sulfur, but it's a very alkaline sulfur, but it's a calcium type sulfur, so it's very compatible with this um, material. So, um, once again, thank you for watching, and uh, good luck in your research, and uh, have a great week, and great weekend ahead. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.